raided Felijah's disturbing behavior by Brian Koberger before Idaho murders that saw him fired as lecturer and thrown out of COP program. Brian Koberger had been called out for his disturbing behavior on numerous occasions before the Idaho murders, it has been claimed. The 28-year-old allegedly killed four University of Idaho students, Kaylee Goncalves, 21, Madison Mogan, 21, Santa Canodal, 20, and Ethan Chapin, 20, in a brutal stabbing spree last November. Before he made it out west, Koberger attended a vocational school near his parents' home in Albrightsville, Pennsylvania, about 90 miles north of Philadelphia. There, he was involved in a pre-professional program designed to train students for a career in law enforcement, the New York Post reported. Although Koberger excelled in the program, he was ultimately kicked out. He was a leader in his class. He took the class extremely seriously. Tanya Carmela Beers, who was a school administrator at the time, told the Idaho Massacre podcast. Koberger could be seen doing push-ups for the police program in a yearbook from his sophomore year. But Carmela Beers alleged that the accused killer was kicked out of the program in his junior year due to numerous complaints from his female peers. To be removed from a program, it has to be pretty severe, said Carmela Beers, who wouldn't elaborate on the nature of the complaints. What had him removed from the program, when I look back on it now, makes sense with what happened later, she said. Koberger ended up not returning for his senior year and earned his high school diploma online. This wasn't the last time he would be kicked out of an education program. Days before Koberger was arrested last December, he was fired from his teaching assistant position. At the time, the suspect was a doctoral student pursuing a degree in criminology at Washington State University. The school is only about a 10-minute drive from Moscow, home of the University of Idaho. It is typical for students to receive a teaching assistantship or similar appointment as part of their PhD program, Phil Weiler. WSU's Vice President of Marketing and Communications told Newsweek. Koberger's tenure as a lecturer was anything but routine for the students and professors he worked with, the outlet reported. Before he was canned, the murder suspect received a letter from the university admonishing his sexist attitude and rude behavior toward women, who he reportedly graded more harshly. The letter also detailed what led to Koberger's termination. It began with an altercation he had with a professor in September just weeks after the job started. The professor met with Koberger three times in an effort to get him on track before the two had another altercation, ten days before the accused killer was fired. Another previous boss of Koberger's spoke out earlier this year, calling him a loner. He was a loner, he had that kind of personality, Charles Conklin of Big Brown Fish and Pay Lakes in Pennsylvania told the Daily Mail. Brian was somewhat difficult, withdrawn, very shy. He went on to say that the accused killer, who was about 15 or 16 at the time, was never really a part of the team and couldn't keep up while working as a fish cutter, and he only lasted 20 days. Koberger remains in custody as he awaits the beginning of this trial scheduled for October 2. He has pleaded not guilty to charges including four counts of first-degree murder and one count of burglary.